So for the final step of the pumpkin, sewing all the pieces together, um, we're going to take the vine and leaf, um, which is all made in one piece. I'll have a tutorial video walking you step by step of how to make this. Um, and we are going to sew it to the stem, which kind of looks like a little finger. Um, so we've threaded our needle um, after leaving a long um, piece of yarn attached to this um, just to help us with sewing it on. Um, and then we are going to just sew this on just pretty loosely just because uh, like we're not going to sew all of the edges down or anything because we kind of want to maintain this loose airy feeling kind of like what a leaf would actually look like on a pumpkin. Um, so I am just going to go up probably to the second row right here um, and I am going to just insert my needle through one of the loops and then I am going to just start sewing this onto here and I am going to kind of just go over here a bit, just pull it through here. And then up through one of these loops on the leaf. Sometimes it gets a little caught. And we'll just pull it tight. And then we will just do that one more time on here. Because we kind of want to make sure that the leaf will stay attached to the stem, but without it having to be sewn onto the pumpkin or anything like that. You know, I'm going to do one more loop here on the leaf, too. Just loop it through there. And there we go. Now it's attached to here. And we'll just come under this side. We'll just go through one of these loops on the bottom. And we'll just fasten this off. And then you'll see it's all knotted and sewn on there. And then I'm going to just weave in the end a tiny bit before I start trimming it. I like to kind of do a going where it loops over and then under. And that just kind of keeps it from flopping out. And we'll just cut this right here. Eh, I'll cut it a little smaller. That way no one will see it. And then we will thread this needle right here so we can sew it onto our pumpkin which we have set aside over here and now we'll just position this on here so that the leaf is facing towards the front and the vine is a little bit in the back and so since my thread is back there we're going to just, we'll start sewing, if you see on the top here where that first row of stitches is on there, that's going to be our area where we are going to sew this piece onto. So we'll go up through one of these loops and then up through here. And then we'll go down and through another one of the loops up again and through a loop and this is gonna I sewed it on this the vine on the second row so that I can use these bottom loops that you will see here on the stem and then this way it just kind of will be even and we'll go up again underneath the leaf and then down over here. And what's nice about this is that you can just kind of reposition the stem and bend it whatever way you want so that it looks like it. And then we're almost done. And then down one more time and through this loop right here. Okay, and now I'm gonna actually 
and just do this whole thing. I'm gonna do it on right here on the back to fasten this off and then I will weave it into the stem actually. So I'm gonna just do one loop and pull it through and then I am gonna go insert this into the stem and then I'm gonna actually come out through one of these loops on the edge here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just trim this and then I will stuff this down with my crochet hook and this will make sure that it doesn't pop up on the back and there you go we've got a finished pumpkin with the vine and the stem and everything I think it looks really cute